thank you for tuning in to Cooking with the Hunters. I am Ernest E. Hunter. I'm LaQuan the Hunter. This is my sexy wife here. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. And thank you for tuning in. Look, you need to call your mama, call your daddy, <laughs> call your cousin, get on Facebook and tell them you are watching Cooking with the Hunters. Yes. yes. Miss Hunter. Yes, that's me. How you doing? <laughs> doing good. That was you for uh, going on 18 years. 18 years. All Woo! right, all right, all right. <laughs> And uh, uh, we had an agreement when we first got married no, that no, no, uh, no, no. I would work and bring home all the money, pay the bills, and she would cook and clean. Now, somehow so you the know other, that went downhill. <laughs> somehow or the other, I, I seem like I started to pick up all the cooking and stuff. I so. still clean. <laughs> yeah, she do that, but she, she, she gave me one of her job of cooking. But anyhow, uh, what are we going to do today, Miss Hunter? Uh, today, I believe you're going Wait, to... Hold it. What did that sign say? Kiss the cook. Come on, tighten All up. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Make this me want to cook. family-oriented. Make me want to cook. All right, all family right. Family-oriented. <laughs> America, America. <laughs> right. Yes, uh, all right. So uh, today we're going to do uh, meatballs. Yes. We, we, we're going to do meatballs. I've been... I, 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 when I go out to restaurants, yeah. I love meatballs. I can order meatballs just by themselves. Yeah, I, I always, especially when I go to Italian restaurants, I order a side of, of, of meatballs. Yes, yeah, with marinara. And, yeah, I gotta have that marinara sauce on it. But uh, so today we're gonna do an easy and simple way Ready. to cook your meatballs. Because I know, you know, a lot of times, you know, we, we be busy a lot of times, and you know, we go come going to work and all that good stuff, coming home from work, and so. Uh, it's a simple way, quick and easy way to uh, cook your meatballs. And the really good thing about this is once you cook your meatballs in the saucer, you can toast you the hoagie bread and do a meatball sub, throw on the, uh, your mozzarella cheese. You can easily just put on a side of pasta, put some marinara on the top, and have a quick uh, spaghetti dish. Yeah. Uh, now, um, you can use, uh, when, when you're doing your meatballs, you can use ground uh, beef. Yes, you can. Uh, I, like, I like to do a mixture of ground beef, ground veal, and ground pork. Yeah. Yes, and so uh, uh, we, we like to, uh, you can, uh, if you don't like that, you can do either or, either ground turkey, ground veal by itself, ground pork by itself. Um, and so uh, we're going to get right in. Uh, I seen them. Where are my gloves at? Let you me, got my gloves? I don't have your gloves, but I believe they're going to appear. Well, my hands are clean, and you need to make you sure. To. <laughs> uh, 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 it's, it's, it's very easy. I mean, you can either do it with, with your bare hands or whatever. And it, another thing you can do to make sure your meatballs stay together, you can take some, make sure you get an egg, you know, uh, beat it, throw it in there. Also, you can take some old bread that you have, crumble it up put it inside, and all of that will make sure that your meatball stays together. Yeah, um, um, you can use salt, pepper, uh, um, basil, uh, parsley. Um, uh, today I'm, I'm going to use, um, y'all know my secret, secret ingredient. Secret sauce. Yeah, ah. I'm, I'm, you, you <laughs> use my secret ingredients in here, and you just throw it in there. Now, now this has already been... Uh, you can also go 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 to our website as well, our blog, and the ingredients is right there on on the blog as well. So, uh, for, but for today we're just gonna use salt, a little bit of salt. Never can go wrong with salt; brings out the flavor. Because yeah. Nothing's worse than a dry meatball with no flavor. Have you ever had yeah. a dry meatball, no flavor? You like just take this back. You pepper. Know, I want my money back. Pepper. All right, pepper. Yeah, and and you can put whatever you want in in there. Um, Parmesan. Pom oh my goodness, you're gonna put Parmesan yes. in it? Yes. Yeah. I'll marry him all over again. Parmesan will do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> and you can also do mozzarella, shredded mozzarella, whatever you like. Breadcrumbs. Uh, usually you uh, get two eggs. Um, and uh, if you don't have breadcrumbs, old bread is mm -hmm. good. Yes. You know, you got to just knead it on up in there real good. And if you get good, let's say that you uh, did a meatloaf and you had some um, hamburger or ground beef left, you go ahead and make sure that's seasoned, put it in your Ziploc, hold that, because the next morning you can do what? Get your meatballs ready for lunch or for dinner. Yeah. Now, you want to make sure you have, um, I use, um, 
Um, I, I like to use olive oil. You can also use uh, coconut oil. Our which favorite, sweet. Yeah, yeah. And it's very healthy, coconut oil. Kind of try to stay away from the butter, the grease, and things like that. Yeah. And anything that you're cooking grill-wise or skillet-wise, it's always going to be better than fried. Yeah. Yeah. And most people think that you have to, you know, get your meatballs and run them through the oven. You don't. You can do it right from a skillet. Now, when, 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 when you roll up, you know, just roll up real good. Now, you can make it as big as you want or as little as, as you want. Uh, but today, we're going to do a little medium, medium ones. <laughs> My pleasure. Yes, and so indeed. you can see what I'm here for. <laughs> this, 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 this is the sex appeal. <laughs> <laughs> what do you need next? What do you, you need next? Talk to me. Yes, you know? indeed. Now, uh, usually you want to have, have your heat to medium, uh, medium high to, to medium. And you want to let it cook for about... Um, depends on how big your meatball is, but anywhere from four, four to ten minutes, Dep depends on the size of the meatball. You want to check the browning, continue, that's something yeah. you kind of monitor. Don't just put your meatball in and just go wash clothes or, <laughs> no, you got to stay there and watch your meatball here to make sure it doesn't overburn or overcook. Yeah, and make sure that uh, you, you coat it, coat the bottom of the pan with enough oil. Yeah, yeah, and I tell you, these, these, uh, as it you can smell good. the aroma just floating through the house. <laughs> yeah. And it's quick. Yeah. Um, it's, it's also something you can do with the kids. You can yeah. bring them in and have them roll mm -hmm. them. It's just a good, good family meal that you can do together. Now, you, you, like I said, you can use marinara sauce, but uh, I like to eat it just like it is. Yeah. I mean, I slice that bad boy, throw some mozzarella cheese up there. <laughs> Some of that Parmesan, good God almighty. <laughs> and I'm trying to tell you, it's some good eating. Uh, you can have different sauces, and so as, as y'all tasted, we had, a, we had a lot of sauces yes. to go with them, and I, I know it, it was good. Yeah. I know it yeah. was good, yes, sir. And those meatballs were so big that we were able to slice them, yeah. and you still felt fulfilled, mm -hmm. you know, fulfilled eating them. And just like my wife said, uh, you can eat them just like that, or you, you can um, uh, put them with, with your spaghetti, Put it with, with, with your pasta. Uh, you can make uh, meatball subs, sub. meatball subs. You know, just toast the bread and all that mm -hmm. good stuff. Nice yeah. order for a nice little party and gathering and things of that nature. Uh, something the kids can do. You can call and say, look, get those meatballs searing in that pan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I love to cook. I mean, I, I was cooking ever since I was a little boy. About, about I started about five, six. Wow, you were at the I, stove at five it, and six? Honey, look, look with, with, with my family, you Child labor better, law. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was a whole lot of us. <laughs> so you were going to learn how to cook. Yes, indeed. And so I learned from my mama, learned from my grandmamas, and, you know, yeah. they, had, they had some recipes that I'm trying to tell you, you won't find nowhere else. But they are delicious. They are delicious. And so it's cooking. Do, yeah. At this time, do we just like turn it? Well, to see? well, you you want to make sure you get a good uh, yeah. Oh yeah, turn that it looks up good. There. Oh Ooh. yeah, as you can see That's there. That's good. Mm hmm. Yeah, and you want to make sure you get all sides. Mm -hmm. And it's browning those. Uh, yeah. Know, of course, you know it marinated overnight, and those seasons are just going through. So when you taste it, it's gonna be nice mm -hmm. and robust. Ooh, you smell that aroma. Oh. <laughs> ah, yes, sir. Uh, Yes, sir. Uh, yes, indeed. And it won't be hard to digest because sometimes when you beef can be hard, you know, you don't want it sitting in your in your stomach after, you know. But if you do a small meatball, you know, you can yeah. enjoy it and not suffer later. And, and, and <laughs> sometimes, especially like with, with with the ground turkey, you know, a lot of people might not like the pork, or they might like uh, not like the the uh, beef. Yeah. Get ground turkey. Very Gr good. Ground, ground turkey. Very good. Or shoot, go ahead and get lamb. Ground lamb. It's very good. And you, you make your meatball with ground lamb. Yes, indeed. But me personally, I like it all. So I like to mix it all <laughs> up in there, get all the flavor from the pork, and get the texture from the turkey. And then you, you, you get the, you know, the, the So good you have rib. the cow, the pig, and the lamb. Listen, you put it all in there together. <laughs> yes, indeed. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, this, it's going to be good here. Yes, sir. You want to go ahead and flip that again? 
And while he's browning that, you always want to, you know, sometimes you just want to add a little pizzazz um, to your dinner. You can always just get your plates ready, drizzle a little marinara sauce, and cut you up some peppers, just so the presentation is, is beautiful. So while you're eating and enjoying, mm -hmm. you can also, your food can be appealing and decorative. Yeah. And, and not only that, if, if you want to uh, go out, out the box a little bit, shoot, you can... Get some honey, drizzle it with honey. Yeah. There's a whole lot of toppings that you can do with meatballs. Yes, indeed. I think we're just about there. Almost. Almost. Yes, indeed. How many, how many of uh, you do meatballs this way? Or how many is this your first time kind of seeing it and you're going to go home and try it? Yeah. I'm going to try yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You can also stuff it. You know, cut your onions yeah. up, put your peppers mm -hmm. in. If you want mushrooms, mm -hmm. you can just... Uh, do all kinds of things. You can inject it. <laughs> so shoot it up with cheese. <laughs> Whatever you enjoy, you know. <laughs> and it just looks so beautiful. The yes, smell is running does. through your kitchen, running through your house. Mm -hmm. Everyone's ready to eat. Your you whole know? neighborhood coming over for this. Wow. <laughs> yes, indeed. Mm. Yes, indeed. I think we about ready there. Yep. The meatballs you tried, were they moist? Did you? Could... Yes, yes. Mm, mm, mm. Pony, do it. He will. Ah. America, America. Lord have mercy. All right. Yes, indeed. Ah. Mm, mm, mm. Hold on, let me get another one there. Let me yeah. get another one in there. Of course, you know, I would need more than two meatballs. <laughs> well, if I knew that, I would just make one big one. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, sir. All right. And there you have it, y'all. The meatballs. 